Hi everyone, it's Meredith, and today I'm going to show you how I made cookie napkin rings. I started out by making two small ring cookies. For the purposes of the demonstration, I used bigger cutters, but I really used maybe an inch to an inch and a half circle cutter for the outer edge, and then two to three sizes smaller to cut out the inside. Make sure your dough is really cold when you move it over to your pan, and if it's not, you can use a method to shape it back up, either pre-baking or after baking. Use a cutter that's a little bigger than the outside and smaller than the inside, and just kind of roll it around the edges to shape it up. And make sure you do it while it's still hot. Next, I'm taking my cookie halves and I'm adding some really stiff royal icing to one side, and then I'm gonna sandwich them together. Wipe away any excess icing. Next, I made a really thin consistency royal icing um, just by adding a lot of water to my icing and then I dipped my cookie in and made sure it was completely covered. I lifted it out using a fork and popped any air bubbles with the fork as well and filled in any additional spaces that needed some icing. Once it was well covered, I moved it from this piece of parchment to a clean piece just so all that extra icing didn't dry together with my cookie. While that dries completely, I am making a royal icing applique. So I'm piping on um, parchment paper a uh, pumpkin and I'm making sure that the scale of the pumpkin is going to be equal to the depth of my cookie just so that it makes sense once it's on there. So I'm gonna pipe this out and then let it dry completely as well. Once my ring cookie was completely dry, I used my X-Acto knife to scrape away some of that excess icing at the bottom. Pay no mind to the yellow color here because I tried something and decided to go in a different direction. So the next step is actually just to take some stiff royal icing and pull it all around the edges and the top and bottom of the ring to make a smooth appearance. A small offset spatula works really well for this. I let this partially dry for about 10 minutes, and while it's still wet, I mix some water with some gold elite colors from the Sugar Art, and I am painting this gold. And I wanted to do it while it was still a little bit wet to kind of give a brushed metallic look to it. And once it's painted, immediately apply that royal icing applique so it'll stick to the wet icing. Now it's time to surprise your guests with a sweet start to their dinner. Happy Thanksgiving.